right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Hello everybody and welcome back my beautiful hummingbirds to this review of Basketball Wives Season 7 Episode 4. So I'm like just going to cut to the chase and just get right into this entire situation. So Jackie keeps talking about she can't believe Evelyn carried her back there. Let's go on and get this straight out the gate. Sweetie. Evelyn didn't carry you nowhere. You've been trying to get there ever since the last time y'all got into it. And I just feel like this was a whole setup between you and Tammy. I'm going to tell you how much I believe it's a setup. I feel like it was a setup to the point. I feel like that Tammy orchestrated this whole thing. That she called you on the phone and said, Jackie, look, when I get here, I'm confronting Evan, Evelyn. And I might be calling you over to verify some information. So you be on standby and be ready. Because, girl... We not going to let her backpedal out of this. I feel like that's what they did. It was a setup. And they, they came for it. And I don't know why they always think Evelyn going to be the one to get pumped out. Because she's not. Y'all not going to intimidate and bully her with this mean girl stuff. But this high school stuff. I don't say this in every episode since the show started. It's some BS. And it's old and over. Like... And I've told y'all this before when I started doing a review for the show. And if it just keeps being repetitive, I stop doing reviews for it. And right now, this is really being repetitive. Every show, I do not want to hear about Tammy and Jackie, Tammy and Evelyn. And they keep trying to make the whole season about the same thing. And like I said, it's very childish. It's time to move on to bigger and better things. This is getting old. Y'all in y'all late, mid to late 50s, early 50s. Y'all all too old for this. And it's just irrelevant but anyway so they go back and forth with that pity patty it's over it's over it's up it's just some it's just it's just stupid um at this point and then <laughs> jackie over there sounding like a like the grinch you're an idiot i'm like i was hoping her echo said it back to her you're an idiot I'm just like, this is just stupid. So, Jennifer's whole resolution to try to get them back on ter talking terms is some BS. Um, J Jennifer cannot be in charge of being the peacemaker. Leave that to Shawnee. You won't ever be like the one over nothing. You will not ever be the main person that's going to be the peacemaker. That's going to be bridging the gap between people. It's just not going to be you. It's not your thing. It's just not what you was meant to be. You was meant to be a friend of a friend. So be a friend. Be a supportive friend. And that's that's just it. you just not the peacemaker. Because you don't know how to be. And it, and it turns messy. So. Sorry. Not sorry. So. Anyway. So. Why is Kristen trying to get it with OG at her own get together she tried to make that whole situation about her when OG was over there ingressing, uh, addressing the group like she didn't know what OG was talking about so she could get 5 minutes of fame um but <laughs> OJ, OG went there and made her question whether or not her husband was seeing about them kids cause she had to stop and, and think 30 seconds. She tried to play it off like she was mad, but baby, she wasn't mad. She thought and said, wait a minute. Does she know something I don't know? That's how she stopped. She stopped and paused and said, like, <laughs> wait a minute. She may know something I don't know. Girl, who you know? Because is he doing something? And she hurry up. She tried to hurry up and rebound for it, but there for a minute she was a little shell shot, and she was about to go jump on the phone and call her husband. She had to hurry up and speed home. She called him on the way home, had him on the, um, uh, Bluetooth on the on the radio <laughs> was making sure he was with them kids and she's probably like, yeah, let me talk to whatever the child name is. What you doing, mommy? Does she trying to play it off like, yeah, let me make sure you with my kids, girl. Bye. We we all us married women been there. We know what you was doing. But anyway, um, Shawnee 
past miles with her trying to pick out like a venue for her little weed operation because she a weed tycoon now and I'm guessing she also trying to have him um, alone to help pull him into this little modeling thing if you watch Shauna's home court then you know what I'm talking about you need to watch her show either watch my reviews for her show to catch that up so basically what she doing is tying him in to this show I told y'all that the last show and she doing that so and basically you have to watch both shows to kind of be up with the kid situation and with her mom and stuff how she keep pulling her mom and you need to watch her show so you will kind of know you know as far as what's going on but anyway I like seeing her kid on here Miles is the cool one out of all her kids the rest of them they act like they too I don't know what you call it they kids they be going on about their business but I like that Miles is into his mom like, like he liked to spend time with her and I, I personally think that's really cute so anyway, um, Evelyn, um, Jennifer, they back on this thing with, um, they telling Shawnee about Evelyn, <laughs> about, uh, Tammy not wanting everybody to laugh and whatnot and all of this kind of stuff. They also tell her about the OG situation, which Tammy don't really know OG. This is uh, Jackie friend, so she don't have much to say about. She's just shocked or whatever. But Evelyn is warning Shawnee that Tammy basically telling her don't want her laughing like she feels slighted. Like, you laughing at everybody else's jokes and kiki and ha-ha, but you don't never laugh when I say something about any of the other women. And I, I do agree with Tammy. Shawnee doesn't. But if she don't feel like it's funny what Tammy say, then hey, I will say that a lot of the jokes that Evelyn say are funny and more lighthearted. While I think some of the stuff that Tammy says is more gutter, like more slap you in the face, stab you in the gut, like straight from the gut, um, jugular, like more rough. And it's, that's just a big difference to me so it comes off it's more harsh I think if they was actually funny and not uh and they were more jo jokingly and not so serious and taking a jab that it would be funny but the herds are so much more serious and taking a jab that it, it just doesn't come off as fun funny it's just brutal kind of like Dr. Heavenly on Medicine Woman it's just not funny and let me point out that Tammy had a lot to say when Brandy said she didn't like you um, joking and snickering about her. But Tammy is always joking and snickering about people and whatnot. And this is the very thing that Brandy was talking about. They get together, they sit over there, they laugh and they snicker and talk about people. But they don't want nobody laughing and snickering about them. Mainly Tammy. But like I said, she was all on Shawnee and Jennifer and them team and all of that. Everybody team and whoever else was over there. When they was talking about people, but now when the shoe is on the other foot, she ready to fight and she trying to kick people out of the group. And she just does this thing where she just tries to make everybody dislike a person to weed them out the group. So let me give me some ink pens. These are ink free ink pens. People be giving me leave on my desk to give away. So this is the group. Tammy is the green one. I just happened to pick up a lot of these, and the green was the main one. So Tammy is the green one, right? Correct. So, well, now let's say the green one is the person Tammy trying to get rid of. So, everybody's in the group. Everybody is friends. Tammy will keep going at the group. At the group. At the group. One by one. So, now Tammy has this person turned against the person in the green. Now, she has this person turned into the person in the green. Now, she has this person to the whole group. So, they have isolated this person. And this is the group. And this is the person Tammy has isolated. This is what she do until she isolates that person out of the group. She go go to each person in the group one by one and try to make it be a beef with that other person. And I hate that she does that. I don't know that. I feel like she she knows that she does this, but I don't think she realizes that other people that she see that she does. This. I'm not sure that she even really cares, and I doubt that she really does. But Jennifer is right uh, when she said that. Uh, <laughs> Christian is not ready to start stuff with um, OG. 
um, talking like she all bad, girl. Oh, gee, she, she'll, she'll take down you and your husband. So you better shut up because you keep on coming for her. She's not the one you want to use. I will applaud her for not trying to pick on the weakest person in the group because that's what most people do. They try to target the weakest person in the group, which is normally Jennifer. But so she done already came for Jennifer. So I applaud her for now going to what can be the, the well, the newest girl in the group and trying to... Um, get her out she playing the field like they do on every reality show but anyway so then Christian is on this thing with her husband about having another baby he right if you want to go out with your friends and hang out be a basketball wife and record this show what you need another kid for I don't see no reason in having another kid if you know that's what you want to do. Go on and live your life and then have another kid when the one you got get three or four. If you want to have it closer together, then you better be devoted to being just an at-home wife. And then he keep telling you, it, just out flat, he told you it's too expensive. Y'all trying to pay for daycare for one and all that kind of stuff. He, 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 let, he named off a reason why y'all can't have that second one. So, honey, I'm guessing if you want that second one, you was right by recording this show to get um doing this show to get some coins in. So I hope you get to stay on the cast because if not, you're not gonna get your other baby because he said one is too expensive and right now y'all income can't afford a second one. So you better listen to your man because he ain't be, he he said he ain't finna be trying to struggle and kill himself for this second one. So in other words, get you a job if you want this second one and put in this work because if you don't put in this work, you're not about to uh have this other baby. <laughs> At least he told it to her face and for the whole world to see. So I don't know what she gonna do now. But anyway, so um Tammy and Shawnee have dinner and Shawnee told Tammy <laughs> <laughs> about the laughing issue so Tammy uh mad at Jennifer again she's she like so okay bitch you know when told them told the whole group about what I said and I don't think Jennifer is trying to really be backstabbing to Tammy or nothing like that I think she really trying to do like she said in the beginning she trying to be the peacemaker she want everybody to get along or whatnot so she told them in a way as in look she don't like it it's hurting her feelings and she don't want y'all to do that and if she don't want us to do it I don't think we should do it and I think she told them in that manner and Tammy taking it as this bitch going to tell all my business and I just don't think that's what Jennifer is intentionally even though that's what she did that that's what she trying to do I really don't think so but um basically she like so no more laughing at, um at one and not laughing at the other one but so anyway at the dinner Shawnee, Shawnee just very kindly told Tammy uh because Tammy's like I feel like you support one group you ain't support me and you don't support the others like you support me and you don't be do supporting me like you support the other ones and um you know, I'm just saying, if you're going to keep keeping one, you should get... I'm just... I'm not saying exactly what she said word for word, but I'm just saying a roundabout of what she said or how she felt or whatnot or what have you or what say you that. That's like how she felt or whatever. So, Shawnee told her in a nice kind of way because uh, Tammy was like, you came, but first of all, Tammy backpedaled. All that yee yee ha ha she was talking to Jennifer when it was time to lay her chips on the table and tell Shawnee what she meant. She backed up. She, you should have said to Shawnee what you said to uh, Jennifer. But no, but you're trying to protect that check and them coins. You don't want to get on Shawnee's bad side and you don't want to make her mad. So she was like, that's why she was like, you did, I just didn't feel like you supported me. You laugh at everybody. You know, no. Say, say how you said it before and like you mean it. Don't try to be all sweet and backpedal now. No. Own it on it. You supposed to be bad on it now. So anyway, Tammy told, uh, Shawnee told in a nice way, I am a supportive friend. Me being at your comedy show is a supportive friend. Um, if I don't laugh, I don't laugh. In other words, I don't have to laugh if I don't want to laugh. If I'm there and I'm showing up for you and I, you know, or whatever, I'll, I'll clap and try to woohoo and 
whatever more but in other words I don't she don't have to play, you can't make her laugh if she didn't want to laugh and if she didn't find the jokes funny they wasn't funny they be harsh what Evelyn did was funny when she was walking around like <laughs> tell me that like the picture of that's my thumbnail on the video that she did it on that was funny that's and that's humor. Not that Evelyn should be doing stand-up. Because she shouldn't. Because Tammy shouldn't be doing um, stand-up. Her Bonnet Chronicles is what she should be doing. She be killing it. I love them hands down. Those are the truth. But stand-up is a totally different ball game, And she's just, like I said before, it's just not her thing. But anyway, Tammy just trying to... Uh, Tammy, I feel like Tammy's trying to for is forcing and trying to bully Jennifer into choosing sides. And I'm the type of friend I can have two different friends. If y'all don't like each other, bitch, then y'all don't like each other. I don't care. They don't have nothing to do with me. But don't be trying to make me not like the other person because you don't like the other person. It's not gonna happen. I can be friends with two different people. And one not affect the other one. I don't talk about one to the other one. Either way it go, if they just got to tell me something about the other one, my my advice is always that you should talk to them about it because I'm not getting in it. Y'all really need to get together and talk to each other about it. If y'all don't like each other, that's y'all thing. But me and you is me and you. You and her are you and her. Don't. We not. Mm -mm. And I don't have a problem. My friends, most of the time, if they don't like somebody I'm kicking it with, they don't mention them to me because we we don't they not a part of our conversation it the, our, what we doing don't revolve around them we keep it moving and that's what uh, jennifer needs to learn to do stay out of what they doing and do what she do with them and worry about her own business is what she need to do but anyway jackie is still going on about all of this stuff with takari and evelyn's fault that um she see how Evelyn can come in and really destroy things. No, baby. Evelyn did come in and destroy things. Based on what your kid is saying, you destroyed the, the stuff. You destroyed everything. Um, it's not her fault. I feel, um, even Chantel said Jackie is not, um, she was not a lovey-dovey type of person. She didn't do a lot of hugging and she didn't show a lot of physical emotion. It sounds like they didn't get that mother, mother and daughter connection like they wanted. Like to be nurtured and hugged and loved and kissed like they want to. Hell, I don't even know if they bake cookies and cakes with their mama. That, the kind of stuff that you want to do with your mama where y'all have that bun and, and the connection. I just don't feel like that they did it with her. And I think that's a big issue. And that's why they wasn't close. And then you, we already know how she treated Takara. And she didn't do right by the girl. It is what it is, Jackie. It, it's not Evelyn's fault. But I do feel like Evelyn came in at a time when Takari was vulnerable. Her child had just got burnt. She was just at a place where she was sad. She just wished she had like that mother that she could turn to. And Evelyn came in at the time that she that she was needed. And that she just you know, was there. And I feel like we don't know what Takari prayed for. You hear me? She could have prayed for, you know, that connection, that love, or somebody just be there for her. And if Evelyn was in the place and God delivered Evelyn and Evelyn and, 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 and that was how God delivered it, there's nothing Tammy can do. There's nothing uh, Jackie can do or Evelyn can do if God put Evelyn in that place for that girl's blessing because that girl needed somebody and Evelyn was there to deliver what the girl prayed for. You can't stop that. It ain't nothing you can do about it. And I feel like that's what happened. It is what it is. The girl prayed and God delivered. Whether it was in the form of Evelyn, it was just in the form of Evelyn. If Jackie don't like it and Tammy don't like it, too bad. They can get over it. And why Tammy is it, such a big deal to Tammy and why Tammy is worried about it, I don't know. But she don't need to be. But she telling Jennifer to mind her business. In this situation, she need to mind hers. Uh, that showed a little bit about uh, Malaysia. Uh, they trying to basically 
bring her back in the in the mix and she's just like if they get started on this high school stuff i'm not in the mood i'm walking out and, and i'm with malaysia it's old malaysia been on this last couple of seasons i ain't nobody gonna be putting up with all this and i don't blame her i would too i'm glad that jackie went to see a therapist i feel like she needed to see a therapist i do think it was very sad about the situation how jackie grew up and i feel like that's a lot of what's wrong with Jackie is how she was raised and so because she didn't get what she needed from her mother she's not um a she wasn't able to be the mother that her kids needed it was so awkward when she uh told uh Chantel okay so hug, hug me now she's like no because you ain't never done it so for the start now it's just awkward to the girl so she's just like no she didn't know how to so that I feel sorry because there's not a lot of families like that. And see, for me, I wouldn't know how to do because my mom always hugged, said I love you, and all that kind of stuff. My dad, you know, we hug him. He don't do a lot of hugging back. I say I love you. He, I know he loves us, but, like, I don't know if he says I love you back. He doesn't say I love you back a lot, but we, I know he loves me. So, he, he grew up kind of weird, too. So, you know... I know what happened with, with those people that people when they go to California. California does something to people because that's my grandma was out there for a long time and she grew up around like Red Fox and them and worked with them and stuff and she's not a very she I guess she didn't so show the emotion because my dad, like I said, he don't do a lot of hugging and saying I love you but he shows it in other ways and we know that he does by the things that he does. So you know. He always say, you know, you did good. You know, he he does. He has his way of doing it. But anyway, so um, I hope that they get things worked out and that Jackie gets the help she needs. So, um, you know, that they're not going to get... I don't know how they're going to repair their relationship because those girls done missed out on some nurturing and loving that they need i can't say they won't ever get it i'm gonna say it's gonna be awkward getting it because jackie is just has issues but anyway that's all my review for this show it went longer than i intended because i just had so much to say about it but anyway i hope y'all um hang around for the next show i'll see y'all during the next episode